I made a level editor for Grizzly Games' Superfly. Now, this is unlike my uh, Carlson level editor mod video, where it was like a full-on Danny-inspired devlog. In this case, this is an unedited tutorial on how to actually uh, download, install, and play the mod. Um, so, in order to play this mod, you will need to have Superflight, like the original Superflight, installed on Steam. For legal reasons, I can't just distribute the actual files of the game because, you know, the game is paid and also, you know, copyright. So, um, so we have a special way to install it. If any of you are familiar with installing mods in the past, you'll probably know what this is. If not, just follow through the motions. So you just want to download these two things, uh, and it doesn't matter where you save them to, and then you want to extract them, uh, extract the flips zip file. And then you want to go into the flips folder and, uh, click apply, uh, run flips and click apply patch. And then you want to select the BPS file you downloaded. And then you want to go into your Steam location of Superflight. So to get to that, you press here in the Steam library, Properties, Local Files, and Browse. And then you can copy this location up here into Flips. And that's how you get to it. And then you want to go to Superflight underscore data and Manage and Assembly C Sharp. Some, sometimes it does this glitch. That just means you need to restart flips. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, sometimes it just does that. You just need to restart flips. Don't worry about it. Um, so hopefully it doesn't do that it again. Okay, yeah, there we go. And then you want to save this file as Superflight Level Editor Mod dot zip. And, in the, and so um, I already have one here, so I'm going to delete it. But it doesn't matter technically what you name it, but name it as a zip file, basically. Um, I thought I just deleted that, but okay, whatever. Um, and then you should be able to extract this zip file that you just created. And then inside the zip file will be the actual mod that you can play. Um... So, like I said, you need to actually have bought Superflight on Steam in order to use this. Um, so, let's go ahead and launch the mod. So, here is the mod. Um, this is, you can see a mod by RGC exists. And this is an important warning. I literally spent, like... Uh, the entire day trying to fix this and at this point I googled it and it seems like there's like mixed answers on how to fix it and I just I don't I, I'm done uh, but after entering play mode in the level you may be unable to rotate the camera upon re-entering the editor I tried for hours to fix this but I googled the issue and it looks like nobody really knows what the problem can be so you'll have to restart the game each time you load the level the editor after playing a level uni is so stupid so uh yeah you're gonna have to deal with that because uni is messed up in the head uh, the uni devs messed up somehow and messed up my file for the project or some I don't know um I have no clue what the problem could be, to be honest. Like, it just stops taking my right clicks in order to rotate the camera. Speaking of which, let me show you the controls for the editor. So, you can see I click the editor button in the main menu. And you can right click to rotate the camera. Um, you can click to place things. You can press W, A, S, and D and to go uh, left and right and up and forward and backward with the camera. And you can press Q and E to go up and down. And then um, you can also uh, press Tab to go into your inventory and select different objects. You can press uh, the number keys 1 through 7 to switch between the different slots in the hotbar. And 8, 9, and 0 are for different things. So the number keys for that are for different things. Um, this is actually the same controls as my Carlson Low Editor. If you're familiar with that, you can just use that. If you're familiar with the Carlson Low Editor, you should be fine. You don't really have to watch this, really. Um, so I placed an object. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I can press 8 to 8 key to uh, erase things. And then when I click on things, they erase. 
and then I can press, and then I press on an, a, one of the one through seven keys to go back. And then I can also press not, you might have noticed that I was scaling the thing a second ago. You use arrow keys for that. You use up, down, left, and right arrow keys and in, enter and right shift. Enter and right shift. I know it's kind of confusing. That's the only way I could think to do it in like all, all, all three directions. Um, so then you want to, uh, you can also press, so you can press zero to switch to rotation. And then you use the arrow keys and enter and shift to rotate. And you press nine to switch back to the scaling. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Hey, future me here. I almost forgot that you can scroll with your mouse wheel to change the distance to the camera that the object is. It, once you scale or rotate something, you can press R to reset it. Um, and yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, so I'm going to build a quick level and then we'll test it. Uh, I'm, I, you know what, I'm literally just going to put a player and then I'm going to put a, uh, a goal because I don't want to have to deal with, a lot of times you have to reposition the player because it's, I don't know, it's real it's really hard. The controls for this game are hard to get right, like get, get working with a level. So you'll have to tweak things a bunch of times, which really sucks because you have to restart the game each time you leave the play mode, but, you know, Uni is stupid, so I can't handle it. Then we're going to want to name this level down here. I'll name it literally just a goal. And then we can press save. You don't technically have to press save. You can just leave um, if you want to, uh, and that'll save it as well. Then you go to the levels list, and you can click play. And then we should be able to... Yeah, we beat the level. There we go. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. You can actually uh, you can actually go to uh, percent app data, percent, in your file explorer. And then you can go back a folder to app data. And you want to go to local low, I believe it is. And then Grizzly Games. And then Superflight. And then Levels. And this is where the levels are actually stored, so you can share them with friends through this. Uh, I thought about using mod.io to make online level sharing like I did with uh, like I did with Carlson Level Editor and like I am doing with my soon-to-be-released uh, Geometry Dash fan game. But I, I was just too lazy. This is too small of a project, so yeah. Uh, you'll just have to share them with friends. Uh, Probably on the Grizzly Games Discord. I'll be creating a thread on the Giz Grizzly Games Discord. Uh, so you should be able to share your levels there. Uh, yeah, that's about it.